plays games with Steve and Angel. It's a new session, new day. Uh, let's let's investigate. Let's uh, let's uh, see what's going on. Yeah. See that old guy. Uh, oh yeah. Um. We didn't start at all. Okay, yeah, let's talk, let's talk about that pasta restaurant. Hey! Um, a pasta shop? Yep, you think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone? My father started it, you know, he that makes you two the third generation. Meg? I I yes? Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of dough tossing. D dough tossing? You too, Keith. Y yes? You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler? The West? It isn't pasta from Italy? Meg! Y yes, yeah. You know the best pasta's always been made West in the Rockies, don't you? R right, of course. Everybody knows that. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep up this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what it is. What that is. <laughs> West of the Rockies. <laughs> the Japanese Rockies. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? Here's the Palace of Pasta, the wet noodle. Oh, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days darn if I understand them. <laughs> I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. This old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. Uh, let's be nosy. Um, well, I mean, the obvious would be to che talk oh, to che this. Check the, uh, the very Western American Kotatsu. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Nick. He has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. Uh... Wait, that's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We can sit down with our clients snug and warm and drink hot cocoa. And what? Talk about murders? Oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. <laughs> and then he murdered my wife. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Here, have some cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> have, a, have a rice cracker. Yeah. Uh, garbage. Wow. He, okay. Wow. He has a television in here, too. Whoa. Oh, okay. We're truly living in the future. What's on it? Look, a little safe. Hmm. It's locked. I wanted to steal. Wow. There's lots of various fish in Gord Lake, aren't there? Hmm? Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Shrimp dressing. Looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. It doesn't look clean. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. He doesn't look like the type who'd keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Also, you know, you know terrible place to put that bird right next to the kitchen, you know. Just... Oh, yeah. It's if, uh, if you don't use the right pots, he's going to, like, inhale the fumes. Uh, no, I was just talking about it. It's just going to shit everywhere. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, paper down. See? Yeah, but, 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 no, but I, I, sometimes, I don't know, they, they, you know, it could be projectile. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I, I would movie know. Too. <laughs> scary movie, too. Scary movie, too. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. <laughs> Good morning. Hello? He ignored me. What, you forgot, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Kimi no Nava. Polly, how you been? <laughs> Hello. Hello. See? 
Neat. So the parrot's name is Polly. Interesting. That's about all she can say is hello. <laughs> oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. Mm, the secret words? Mm. The secret words. Secret words? Uh... That's, uh, oh, we got unlocked Polly. <laughs> My memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. <laughs> All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will you? <laughs> See, Nick, all it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. <laughs> Quick, right. Nick, write that number down. All right, Polly, what's his social security <laughs> number? <laughs> hey, don't get me involved in your little heist crimes. Schemes. Can we actually? They're crimes too, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> can we actually? Can we? Can we? Can we? I'm just gonna... Stop that. Look, a little safe. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn it. Did you, how, you forgot. Maya, I'm not gonna let you yeah. open that man's safe. Come on. He won't miss it. Okay, Nick, you get, uh, how about 70-30 split? 70-30? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, do we, oh no, there's no Maya, point. what do you do for work? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, we just got Paul, uh... Are we done? Here? No, there are only three word things. Gotcha. Okay. Um, do we Why don't we present them? something? Yeah. See if they can, uh, you know. Yeah. What, you what, 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 earlier, uh, Phoenix said something about like, oh, maybe I need we to gotta, show We gotta, we gotta give him some to make him talk about something. Make him squawk. <laughs> uh, a gun. <laughs> Tell us everything. Tail <laughs> man. <laughs> Tell us everything. <laughs> Uh, a lot of disposition. Well, let me uh, familiarize myself. Deposition, not disposition. <laughs> oh, deposition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, her two sounds. Also, I said disposition anyway. No. Oh. <laughs> her two sounds like gunshots just after midnight. Okay. Make a noise. She has an empty lake. Oh, well, let me. Uh, there's a company of the boat shop. That's just name Polly. Uh. Mm. The lake photo, I bum, guess. Bum, bum, bum. Now listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Our rainbow leoli. I figured out the last color we could use: indigo blue. Indigo blue. That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, look at this mom. Um. Look at his, look at your options for him. The options, like all my evidence, yeah, or no, no, the, the, the word options. Points, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna help you out here, uh, because it's not that obvious. Um, why don't you show him uh, who you are? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not super obvious. Okay. Here's my hole. Yeah. <laughs> that a lawyer's badge? Y yes, it is. I can tell from the smell. <laughs> I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? Yep. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Hmm. Nick, now's your chance to clear things up. Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Hmm, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. 
All right, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Uh, yeah. We're not doing anything else. Okay, we promise. We might need the income anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg. Yes. <laughs> you bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello. Hello. Um. Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Cool. And then now show him what you showed before. Oh, uh, d d oh. The gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no fucking around. I uh, yep. <laughs> I seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith. Y yes. It's okay. You can call me dad. Oh my god. Dad, you know something about this? Yep. The other night out on the lake. Yes, yes. I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Well, since you're taking over the shop and all. Father. <laughs> daddy. Oh, nah. Daddy, you're my daddy. I forgot the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yep. It was after midnight, but okay. And I heard this bang, so I looked outside. Then I heard another one bang. <laughs> ah! <laughs> a little while later, this boat comes back. And a young man walked by my window here. Mm. He was muttering something to himself. Uh, yep. What did he say? Uh, yep. Uh, I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time, promise. You need to know earlier than that. You know what? Eh? Well, Terry was just here. Terry? Yep, that kid next door. He always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat, got himself some whiskers growing out his face. Must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow, I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait. I, I had one more question. Huh? Polly! Polly! Have you forgotten something? I forgot the all sex. Huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. I forgot the all sex. What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister, I, I, I mean, dad. <laughs> this is getting weird. Who is this old guy? I don't know. <laughs> nah, who cares? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? I have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. Hmm. Who could that old man be? I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. I mean, he's your dad. I don't maybe know. Maybe I should. I maybe. 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 M -m 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 Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. Shoo shoo shoo. Like, it's, it's a tiny little boat rental shop. So he locks the door. It's like, oh no! Now we'll, it's in. This fortress is impenetrable. <laughs> we'll never be able to get him now. God. He's just uh, like, and like and he's like just like peeking out the window. Like, eh? open, eh? oh, oh, open the door. Eh? The, the door. <laughs> open. Oh, oh, he's sleeping <laughs> again. <laughs> uh. Remember, remember who we were just talking about? Okay. <laughs> I was also like, Angel, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gummed Shoe. It's like, hey, pal, long time no see. 
Yeah, you don't look so happy. What's wrong with this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, <laughs> plays games with Dory over here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, you know, the <laughs> damn. Yeah, Marlin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's my shot Nemo? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that? That's a terrible boy. <laughs> oh, my, that's, that's my, my shot Nemo. Stewart, that's it's not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to find Bush. my shot Nemo. <laughs> oh, you my, oh, God. Oh. Although, Marlin, that's kind of a tricky voice. Yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for my shot Nemo. That's more of the vibe, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Oh, yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in, t in court. All right, to who are we all in Finding Nemo? Yeah, oh my God. God. Well, yeah. I am Dory, actually. Yeah. I can't deny it. Finding that. Nemo, I haven't really watched that many times, yeah. so. Or if I'm not Dory, I'm definitely someone at the dentist's office. <laughs> ah, yeah, I could uh, see that. Yeah. The the Willem Dafoe fish. Am I Gil? <laughs> <laughs> uh... No, I'm not allowed. I like don't want to like immediately assign you like the coolest roles. I'm like, <laughs> you're like, yeah, someone's not allowed to be cool. Yeah, yeah. Only as a last resort. Mm. Um. Oh man, we're totally, we're totally yeah. derailing. All right, let's okay. go. Let's get back in. I'm Gil. <laughs> no, you're no. Dory, and no. and Steve is Crush. Am I Crush? Ah! I feel like Dave is more of a Crush than. No, me. yeah. yeah. Steve is like a. I'm one of the sharks. So oh, are you are you like Bruce? Bruce. <laughs> I don't know. Sure, I can no, say that. I won't eat you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I said this. Oh, you said the, the old right. man is appearing in court tomorrow, right? Huh? How'd you? Mm -mm. That was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lauder Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Uh-huh. We need to know about the DL6 incident. Huh. That was when Edgeworth's father died. Can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. Hmm. To tell the truth, I don't know much about the 6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, uh, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, uh, if he can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I consider opening the file up. Okay. Do, do, do. We have to find proof that it's related? Yes. Uh, can it Willie believe uh, 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 eyewitness? Uh, um. Why didn't. Why? 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 What? <laughs> why? <laughs> wait, wait, do what? Do I actually present that? Why wouldn't you? Why? What? How is, you, uh, is there? What's the one thread we have that it's connected to the DL6 incident? What's that? A parrot? Yeah, Get the just... fuck out of here. What are you, stupid? What's Get out of here. What's You're that? dumb. You're a dumb baby. Give me the controller. No, what's, oh, that? Oh, what's, what's that? A parrot? <laughs> yeah, we just carried it over here. Yeah. <laughs> the old man at the boat rental sh It's the old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident. DL6. Wh what? Remember this? Polly, well, Polly. Maybe, maybe you have don't. We yeah, no, I've already <laughs> forgotten. Oh my god. Were you? Have you forgotten something? <laughs> don't forget DL6. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that, like... Wait, can I actually bring it up right here? I can't. I think it doesn't actually mention it, it doesn't but your memory <laughs> i yeah okay the earth file company like, answers the name Polly. So, i don't know i remember, the, I think remember the first like, time i played this game and heard the parrot said that i nearly crapped my pants yeah <laughs> that's true it, it is a pretty crazy moment but anyway huh oh just be brave angel be brave little one okay i feel like the angel routine is like mm, could be this right answer 
Nah, it's, it's not <laughs> it's right too obvious. No. Are we forgetting anything, Angel? <laughs> I don't think they forgot anything. Yeah. I think they were just like, uh, it doesn't seem. I get because it's yeah. usually it's in the text. Yeah, of the right, thing. right, right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you gotta. Sometimes it's picky and sometimes it's vague. Yeah, and I don't. It's know like it's what almost it like it's a person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, yeah. what if... You can't take comfort, though, Angel, in that investigation. You can't, like, get punished or anything. That's yeah. true. So if you're just like, oh, this? You know, no harm in trying it. Okay. What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be? Uh, uh, I get you. Uh, sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Uh, through there is the station's records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. All right. Way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick. To the records room. To the records room. <laughs> I guess it's time to face Edgeworth's past. To Edgeworth's past! <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth, I'm Phoenix Wright from the future. I've got to warn you. <laughs> Go away, you strange man. <laughs> and also, kid. I have my same voice. <laughs> <laughs> I've always sounded like this. Wow. It's amazing. Puberty, yes. Lee Dusty. Yeah. You know. Phoenix, <laughs> Phoenix, Larry, what did, what did your parents pack for your lunch today? <laughs> I have foie gras. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I will say I got th I've said this before I've got I got this voice in middle school. <laughs> really? I think, I think between sixth and seventh grade. What was Damn. what were your friends like first reaction? Uh, I think it was over the summer, but I think they were like, "Whoa, wow, that's okay. yeah. that's that's so uh, that fe that feels like like a time skip." No, it just anime. feels like right out of TV where it's like you know kids have like their summer of of, of change of, yeah of, of puberty. you were recast i think i was <laughs> you know i i've always been tall but i think i've been like a late bloomer yeah yeah because uh, i remember like in middle school and high school kids started getting taller and all and it was almost like oh no i don't think i'm the tall guy anymore and then mm -hmm. it just kicked in late and i was still growing <laughs> i think up until my freshman year of college yeah oh my yeah. god yeah not to be a downer but like that you, you mentioned like a season of change that that was like the period like my grandma passed away in that time and my voice changed. So I feel like I did come back just like a different person. Yeah. Grizzled. <laughs> yeah, kinda like eye patch, you know. <laughs> yeah. Deep voice. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway. I'd say very so very edgeworth right. <laughs> right. All right. Anyway. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL six stuff quick. That stuff. That Fifteen crap. years ago. Fifteen. Both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6? Nick, I found out where the file is. Uh, oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Alright, um... Do I just know it all? Alright. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts. Like a summary. Right. Summary, summary, found it. For autumny, autumny myself. <laughs> Here you go. Wintery, wintery. December. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. December twenty eighth, <laughs> okay. two thousand one. Had to make sure you understood my very, <laughs> my very intelligent joke. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I forgot this game is like in the future. Oh yeah, what year did it say? Uh, two thousand one. So this game takes place in two thousand twenty sixteen. Oh wow, the the dis yeah, future. The future <laughs> yeah, I know. That is crazy though. Um that's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in 2 days the case is closed. That incident took place in the elevator of the district court. What? Is this the same district court where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. What a coincidence. There was a large earthquake at 2 o'clock p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all the lights went out. Oh, Jesus. It was right at 2 p.m. exactly on the dot. Wow. That was some earthquake. Okay, okay. okay. Cinema <laughs> Sins over here. 
<laughs> Shut up. You can't even remember someone said to you like a minute ago. We, we, we might as well round up the times. <laughs> did they say PM? All right. Yeah. They did say PM. Yeah. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. Oh, God. It took five hours for them to be rescued. That guy's like choking. Five hours. Five hours. That'd be scary. Uh, that would be scary like that in the wait. That would be scary like that in the dark. Like, that would be scary like that in the dark. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. In the dark. In the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Damn. That would be horrifying. Earthquake in an elevator. You're yeah. stuck in there for five hours and your dad dies. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking and terrible. It's, I guess it's total, It's pitch black, I guess. Yeah, no windows in there. Oh, God. Terrifying. Everyone bring their Game Boy Advance SP. So. <laughs> Anyway, do you have do you have data on the victim, Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still oh alive. Oh my god, Gregory Edgeworth was 35. He was 35? He, oh my god. <laughs> god. I am so time is terrifying to me. God. <laughs> when I played this, I was like, wow, Gregory Edgeworth is like was like 80 years old. Yeah. <laughs> he was God, like 35 five years old. Five. God. How old are you, Steve? Mm -hmm. 34. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm 32. Is, is, I mean, well, at you're going to look like that well, in I, a year, Steve. Well, actually, <laughs> at, you know, I think a, like probably around the time this is going to come out, I'm a, I'm either 35 or I'm about to be 35. Well, I'm looking oh. forward to it. When you, when you watch this episode, you'll look like him, oh, but no man. hair. Yeah, I'm, your hair I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to have hair. I'm gonna all like I'm gonna be salt and pepper, all gray fox. I'm yeah, gonna, gonna sound like Gregory Peck. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, Scout, Scout. Well, because that's who's Greg. That that who that that's who Gregory Edgeworth is modeled after. Right? Yes, clearly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah. He'll still be fifty. I said all that. Yeah. We, uh, we got to hammer that in that he's thirty-five and already just like a huge success. Yeah. <sighs> he, uh, he had lost that day's case in court. He got in the elevator with his son Miles. Miles. Miles Tails Prower, of course. I was going to make the same <laughs> joke, yeah. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, of course. Miles Edgeworth, of course. <laughs> of course. So, he was on the elevator with his father. I'm talking Edgeworth, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the mango of the bullet and the other evidence could not have been a suicide. The murder, the, the murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh? Sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? Mm. Got any data on the suspect in there? Hmm. That would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on. This is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi? It was a clerk in the court, apparently. He so, must have, nope, he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Oh, Hammond. The victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen, oxygen deprived. So much he had, so much he had brain damage. So much that he had brain damage? Or... Yeah, he lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? Where could Yogi have gone to, I, I wonder? wonder. <laughs> hey, 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 I can't remember <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, hey, dramatic experience. <laughs> he may be closer than we think. <laughs> Yogi's right behind us. <laughs> I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick? Are we going to take the whole file? It's too much. We'll never get it out. Random thought. 
Have either of you seen that video someone did? You know the movie The Assassination of Jesse James? But, yes. Oh, and, the Yogi. And then they put and Yogi, and, Yogi and Boo Boo in it. It's really funny. I have no. God. Anyway. Yeah, I remember when there was a, a Yogi Bear movie? I know. Oh, God. God. The ending of that video is so funny to me. Anyway. What? The Yogi Bear Cause, movie? Cause, or? No, no. Oh. I did not watch the Yogi Bear movie. No, that video. <laughs> the assassin the yeah. Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward. Uh, Robert Ford. Robert Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> These are too many Manila folder files. Ooh, Ooh. so heavy. Ooh. They're uh, slipping out, and we don't have any paper clips. <laughs> How about we just take what we think we'll need? Oh wow, they already decided. Okay. Yeah, it's quick, man. Just all the juicy stuff. Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now, all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Oh. Oh. Mm. Very good. And what a great place to leave off. Oh, we're at running the episode? That is correct. All right. See you tomorrow. See you on December 27th. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>